Hello and welcome to another Inverted Access stream or a YouTube video if you're watching it on YouTube. Tyler from Inverted Access taking a look at Crimson Land on the PlayStation 4. Might need to turn down the volume a little bit so you guys can hear me. I think that'll work a little bit better. Some good ways through this game. Just trying to beat these last 13 or so levels on regular. We've had some issues with this level last time. Or was that a couple nights ago? I don't remember. Continuing that run. Whoops. Start that one over too. I guess I should probably look at the screen while I'm playing. I found that to be helpful in the past. Hey pancakes. I'm on uh, world five. I'm about to die. I should have switched to shotgun. I'm on world five, level eight. This is actually my second time playing through it. I beat it once on the Vita. The last few times I got completely swarmed, but this time I have to take up basically the whole thing. It looks like there might be more down here though. Okay. Maybe not. A lot of these levels are kind of random, like the power-ups have a significant influence on how well you do. Plans for your Friday pancakes? I don't have shit going on, unfortunately. Oh, probably should have killed one of his minions first. He's taking freaking ever.
like this cannon quite a bit more. So much depends on the first gun drop that you get. Luckily, the game doesn't take all that long to reload or anything. I have my gun drop. So weak. I just gotta clear out everyone else, hopefully. Shouldn't be too big of an issue. Hopefully. It'd be cool if some of these red ones died. Freaking tanks. They're nice and slow at least, but.
When you beat the boss, they should just auto eliminate these guys. Just because this isn't hard, it's just time consuming. The red ones are so slow, they don't really cope with that without anything else around. There we go. On to the final world. Chapter 5 complete. Hey, it looks a lot like all the other worlds. Little SMG action there. Oops. I don't remember using it. It's certainly powerful. Just gotta make sure it connects with someone. Shit. So basically not like that. Yeah, more like that. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. Whoops. Doesn't default the cursor to continue, which is kind of strange. Keep track of the guns because there's so many, and like all you can see is the little icon on the ground to pick it up. Yeah, take it back.
Doesn't seem all that powerful for a freaking rocket launcher, if you ask me. have a guest co-host, Mookie Walla, come on here sooner rather than later. Starting to play well on these levels. There's a guy that's not dead yet.
Yeah, these later levels actually don't even seem as hard as like the fourth and the fifth world, some of them. Oh, there we go. Jump in. Hello. Should. It, it didn't give you like a message like you're, you're the person you're joining is currently on a stream. Do you want to share your voice or anything like that? Maybe because you have it checked to always yeah. allow, it doesn't do that anymore. I don't know. Yeah, I've got it to always allow. We can ask one of my three viewers whether they can hear you or not. Are you one of the three? I am one of the three. <laughs> Damn it! I had a feeling you were one of the three. Yeah. Because I'm one of the three as well. Robert John, we can ask one of them. Oh cool, Robert John is here. He was here yesterday. I am getting decimated. Yeah, this game does not look uh, super great. Cool, you can hear both of us, Robert John. Visually, you're not going to be very wowed by this game, but it's a shocking amount of fun. Like, I mean, it's just like it, it would be like a uh, Rencrest game of the millennium, just pure <laughs> twin stick, twin stick shooter. There's nothing to it besides a million temp. Like, I mean, they're not upgrades; they're more like power ups. Um, but they're, it's pretty awesome, I like it a lot. And you move really slowly, but I, that, that's kind of the point, and I shouldn't be s spreading out these stupid spiders as much as I am. Um, did you win a copy from uh, one of Paul's streams? I know he, he's given it away before. I'm pretty sure he has anyway. Uh, no, I don't know, when was that? Huh, it would have been a long time ago. Oh, okay. Let me let me just check and make sure. I think that I don't think I ever won it, and I'm pretty sure I saw it on sale a couple times. And I was like, eh, maybe. But then yeah, just... it was like four bucks once. I was like, that's a good price for it. Because I mean, it's thirteen bucks, which maybe is a touch overpriced, but it is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is a little bit more appropriate for Europeans. So yeah, that's true, Robert. Um, so let's see. I think we're six hours behind, we might be seven, so it's almost midnight there, or almost eleven, if you're in England. I guess there is more to Europe than England, right? Good old... Merry old England. Merry old England, perfect. London, England. You know... I definitely do not have this game, and it is trying to charge me $14 for yeah. it. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> not today. Um, you know, you know the hills are. Back. What's that? That's like five. You got eight bucks back. Oh, well, was there a price match or a post-purchase yeah, price match or whatever they call it? Yeah, I had to do a return and rebuy, but you know, it's all the same. Yeah. Uh, tear away PS4. That's what it was. It was uh, on sale for thirty dollars this week. Or 24. But you had opened it. You'd opened it and played it, and you can still do a return. You, you don't even have to have the game there, right? Just the receipt. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even have the receipt. I just had to look it up. That's what I always do. Cool. Is it because you're GCU or could, or not GCU? Because you're Elite Plus or whatever, or can anyone do it? Uh, Elite Plus, just because it was. Oh, 45 day around. return period or whatever, huh? Yeah. It That's came out right. Like, like September 8th, so it's, it's a while now. Cool, nice. Yeah, I was surprised to hear that was the game. So, Robert John says it's 0.45, which is 12.45 in the morning in Central Europe. Good to know. Wow. What country are you in? Ah, uh, god, I was almost done too. That was stupid. 
Oh, Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Always ruining something. So how was your busy three-day work week? Oh, man, it was so busy that I decided to take Thursday off. I was sick. Real, you took Thursday off? Sick. Yeah. You said you had a headache Ooh, the other day. Netherlands. Yeah, that's actually... My mom is 100% Dutch, so that's kind of cool. I'm half Dutch. Do you like the color orange, Tyler? I do, actually. We have a bunch of orange stuff. Like, we have these cool orange uh, soccer hats that um, my cousins got from Holland when they went there, like, probably about 8 or 10 years ago, whenever they hosted the European uh, Euro Cup that year. But, uh... I do, actually. I think orange is a sweet ass color. Well, that pretty much expands my my knowledge. Of <laughs> well, and dark I'm, stuff. I'm impressed. What about tulips and, <laughs> and wooden shoes or clogs or whatever they're called? Oh, yeah, that too. Isn't the. I thought the Stroop Waffle was also a Dutch thing. That's why I mentioned it to you, but you had no idea what I was talking about. No, and I still don't know what it is, even though you may have told me. It's just like, I don't know, it's like a cookie, and it has kind of like caramel in the middle of two like waffle cookies. Ooh, I don't know, does, it's that very, very good. thin, though. Like, so if you're imagining it, mm -hmm. then, yeah, I don't know. Sounds good. I'm looking at the box right now. Yeah, it Sage. Say it's a product of the Netherlands. Nice. Made in Holland. So there nice. you go. Yeah, so shame on me for not knowing what it is. I know, Tyler. So uncultured. Yeah, Sage, uh, this, is, this game's not going to win any awards for, like, most visually impressive game of all time or anything. Look, Robert John knows what it is. He's excited to hear about yeah. Stroop Waffles. He knows all about Stroop Waffles. Good. Apparently, I need to inform myself better. I, I probably almost guarantee that I've had them. And then yeah. just don't remember and don't know the name. Probably just call them cookies or something. Because my grandma, <laughs> my grandma buys just, like European cookies all the time. She has some Belgian chocolate cookies. ones right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can. I got them at like Target. It's not like there. Right. Yeah. 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 To get them. Although there are a lot not of European like stores around that have some cool stuff. Yeah. So Sage, how's your Destiny going? She's playing Destiny, huh? I've, I've seen her in a couple of times recently. Are you at max level yet, Monkey? Uh, I've been at max level for a while. There's so always more to level up your light level, but it's uh, it's a pain. Like, there's no way to just quickly do stuff. Like, I'm at that point where you just need to do the raid over and over and over. And it, the raid's very long this time around. Like, when we were doing the perfect raider, we were getting it down so it was like a half hour to get through it. And this new raid takes two hours, definitely. Even if you know what you're doing. And raid is best with six people, is that right? Is that the one that's six people? Yeah, so that's the other thing. You need to actually have six people right. who can do it for, for two hours in a while. Right. And, I mean, you can probably find randoms online and stuff, but it's probably not as fun as actually doing it with people that you know or can count on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. the only time I've actually made it all the way through was with, it was me and Stotch and then four other randoms. Huh. Hey, Jess, so Age. Sage asks what level you need to be for the raid. Um, I, I think that it's recommended, like, 290 light level. I mean, after you get to level 40, all that matters is your light level. Um, and like, your actual numerical level from 1 to 40 doesn't matter so much. Anymore. Right. But I don't, I don't know what is like the minimum level where it won't let you in because there is a certain point at which you can fight. Even if you have people who can go into the race, it'll be like, nah, this guy's too low. Right. And let him start it. It would just be a joke to let him in here. 
All you guys will be doing is reviving the whole time. We're not even gonna make you do that. Exactly. Um, but I think 290 is the... Let me check right now. Yeah, correct me level 290. It's, it's a pain. There are a lot of parts of it that are a pain, and there are a lot of things that require everyone to, like, be on the same page, and there's teamwork, and, like, everyone needs to do their own part. Like, you can't have anyone slacking. Oh, I love slacking. I know, I'm really good at slacking. Yeah, thank god I don't have everyone a game. Needs to be on the game. Um, I know. Did you get all the trophies? No, there's, um, there are a couple more that I need. There's one for, like, doing the new grade in hard mode, which I haven't even opened yet. Mm. I guess that's coming, like, next Tuesday or something, but I'm sure so I will not be playing in the hard mode immediately. Yeah, two hours on normal mode, that must mean hard mode will be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait for the next expansion when they, like, raise the levels up again. Sage is only level 30. Yeah, you should definitely uh, get up to raid levels and then and then include me in the raids that you do because I always need to do more. And he never actually wants to do them. Oh, this is a good point, Tower. Do you ever play like with all randoms by yourself, or would like at least Stotch have to be there? I definitely prefer Stotch to be there to hold my hand. I don't like random people; they're scary. I was taught not to talk to strangers. Right, that's good. Um, Spot lizards in this yeah. corner. I mean, definitely if if it's like the raid, I don't want to be with. You know what I know. Right. And you can't even match make online or on the game, right? You have to like go to websites to do matchmaking and stuff. Yeah, for the way you do. Yeah. I think there were a couple modes like the I don't know. There was some like weekly missions where you just cannot be able to and then they added it. But there's still a bunch of things that don't have matchmaking, so you just gotta do it yourself. I don't yeah. Know. Just kind of what weird. Is, what is Freedom Wars? Baba John is asking about Freedom Wars. Yeah, it's Tyler. That's right. I haven't played it, unfortunately. Um, Freedom Wars is kind of like a monster hunting type game. Um, but it's oh, set, yeah, that's right. set in like a. I mean, they're all set in like Japanese style, but this one's like. Isn't it like robotic monsters and stuff instead of a fantasy setting? It's more of a sci-fi one or something like that. Um, but regardless, I haven't played it, unfortunately. I do have it on my Vita. Downloaded. I don't even know if it's downloaded, but I purchased it when it was on sale for super cheap. I need to pick up these stupid nests, that's why nothing is happening. I played a, de I played a pretty good amount of... Uh, how was that game called? Soul Sacrifice. Um, but I didn't beat it. And then I played a decent amount of Tokaiden Kiwami, which is another Monster Hunter, and I didn't beat that one either. Um, but th that's about my I wanted you to see something through for once in a while. Well, those games are long. <laughs> yeah. That's about the extent of my Monster Hunting experience. Yeah, I oh, don't I think died. I really like two enemies. Much of those Monster Hunter games at all. I think I played the like the actual Monster Hunter on Wii, whichever one that was. I don't um, remember. But not too much. I, I feel like those games you also need to like have people to play with. Yeah, you do. And I played Tokaiden. I played with other people, but. Soul Sacrifice I played alone and I should have found some other people playing it. And I might I might do that yeah. again. I mean we have it on plus, so who knows one day I might feel like playing some more. Oh 
part of what turns me off of those games, I mean, I'm not a big RPG kind of guy, and they are still RPG-style games, and there's, like, lots of weird stats and spells and, you know, all this stuff you have to learn and upgrade and, and forge and, and combine and, right. yeah, craft. So that sort of stuff has never been that fun to me on a, I don't know. Like, I like Minecraft type stuff, but I don't like it in RPG games. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely like RPG myself, but it always seems like with, with those games, you're just getting so much more food so quickly, like the turnover is like so rapid that it's hard for me to really get used to any one thing. And, right, and then you end up with a new you know, weapon and a new thing that's more powerful, so you want to learn how to use that. And then it only yeah. lasts for a little bit, yeah. Uh, I died. Someone's texting me. Does this game have cutscenes? No, I was. Oh, I thought that was just like. No. Because I can only imagine what cutscenes are. <laughs> really like. Super good. what brought me back to it was that the Xbox version came out, the Xbox One version came out, and they sent us a code, you know, not really solicited just because we're on their contact list. And I was like, oh, we actually don't have anyone equipped to review the Xbox version. I'm like, oh, okay, well, here's a PS4 code. So they sent us a PS4 code, so that's why I'm playing it. It was weird because the code that I won from Paul's stream, it must have been early, because I remember I won it not even, you know, so it was, it was like before I was even doing a lot of stuff with his stream, so it must have been early, I can't remember exactly. Um, but it was for Vita, and it was supposed to be cross-buy with both PS3 and PS4, but the code didn't unlock the cross-buy for either of those. Oh, uh, well, I so remember you complaining. Really about weird, that. yeah. Maybe I'll find it. So is it, is it now three way cross by? Yes. And it has uh, three separate tro trophies. Three, no, it has three, three separate seven. trophies. Oh my goodness. Maybe you should have bought it for four dollars. I know. Maybe I should have. And now this is the final level. Robert John is totally into RPG stuff. It's good. This is like multiple bosses, I guess. Because the spiders are bosses in the level and so is that beetle shooting piece of shit. I remember this level being quite a headache. You need the right gun drops on the right. Uh, so power up drops too. Oh my god, reload! <laughs> you get overwhelmed real quick in this game. I can imagine that. I'm looking at it, it seems like that was the case.
because it, I mean, the power ups are dropped by enemies that you kill, so you have to go back over and kill them. So then, these stupid spiders that are constantly respawning smaller versions of themselves create headaches to actually pick up the power ups. So this was good though. Let me get this now. Good start, anyway. Load. What are you playing, Destiny? I am in fact playing Destiny. Never ending scroll. <laughs> I I mean I got back into it in a big way. I was not expecting to, but yeah, it happened. That's good. Yeah, uh, I didn't play much okay. of uh I didn't play too much of the second uh, expansion, which is House of Wolves, which I think Sage was saying is what she's playing now. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, obviously I played a lot of the original, and I played a decent amount of the first expansion, because it was something new after all that time. Um, but, yeah, that second expansion, there was a lot of emphasis on three-player stuff, and, like, they didn't have a way, they just had this, like, weird new mode, which basically, like, had to be in teams of three and fight other teams of three, and it was just, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it was pretty brutal, and not, like, super fun. Yeah, it doesn't sound so great. Uh, but, like, the, uh, the Tekken King is just good, and the new story and everything. I like it. Uh, Robert, John, so you played Super Meat Boy with a keyboard and, well, I guess just a keyboard? Because that's, yeah, super crazy. That game definitely needs controller support to be enjoyed. I don't think keyboard is precise enough. I don't think anything is precise enough for that game. <laughs> Better drops. 